today, guys, we are talking about three, three reasons that people are not buying from you. I want you to listen in. I want you to polish your business up, take these tips and do something with them, okay? Um, these are three reasons why, and I'm going to talk openly about it. So let's get started. So number one, number one, um, they uh, do not take you seriously. And the reason why, thanks Karen, I appreciate you too very much. The reason why they don't take you seriously is because you don't take yourself seriously. You don't take yourself seriously as a business. I see it all the time. And you're doing business, but you're showing up into your business like it's a hobby, okay? And if you work a full-time job too, I completely understand, but you would need to work yourself into a consistent routine that you can commit to and show up for it all the time, all the time. Um, and I was there. Some years back, I didn't take myself seriously. I did business as a hobby. I told myself that, I mean, this is, this is just what I love to do, but I can do it when I want to do it. I can do it at my leisure because, hey, Paula, welcome in. The way my situation is set up, I don't need to be stressing over this. I don't need to be so strict on myself of when to show up. And some of us that actually are, we have the opportunities to be in our businesses full time. We have that attitude of, you know, I can sleep in. I mean, not a big deal. I'm a work from home entrepreneur. I don't have to show up on a specific time. I don't have to let my audience know when I'm going live. I don't have to post at certain times. I don't need to be consistent because I can do this at my leisure. Good morning, Lavelle. You don't take, okay, thanks Karen for that. You don't take, they don't take you serious because you don't take yourself serious. Seriously. Some of these big time entrepreneurs out there, the Grant Cardones and all these different people out there that went straight to the top. Do you think that they got there sleeping in, okay, in their pajamas all day because they can um, not being on time. Thanks, Lord Val. I don't think you can share it, but you can invite. This is a private group. But, um, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Do you think that they got there from being lazy, okay, and doing their businesses as a hobby? I'm just asking. So people don't take you serious because you don't take yourself seriously. You have opportunities to share your business in different communities. You have your, thanks for value, you have your opportunity to show up and show out for yourself. And you don't want to because you don't take yourself seriously. You don't invest in yourself. You are afraid to spend your own money on your business. Therefore, if you don't take yourself serious, other people will sense that and they also won't take you serious. Right, Tasha? Like, I had to learn that as a business owner. Welcome in, Michelle. We don't want to support other businesses. We don't want to spend a dime supporting our sister or brother. We would rather go to Walmart. Thank you, Paula. You can only invite, though, but thank you. We would rather go to Walmart to get, um, yes, Michelle, to get certain products that we can get from our fellow business owner, our fellow brother, our fellow sister, and I'm not talking about race either when I say brother and sister at this moment. I'm just talking about our fellow entrepreneur brothers and sisters. We would much rather go to the to go to the convenience store to buy something when we could put more money into our community. We could put more money into a household. We don't want to, good morning, Mo, welcome in. We don't want to invest in coaching. We want everything free. Everything. <laughs> Listen. The dream, okay, and where you need to go in life. Thank you so much, Tasha, for inviting. Come on, Lexi. It cannot be brought free. It ain't free. I'm going to tell you right now. Come on, Dion. I have not gotten where I am because I expect handouts every second of the day. You can't expect your business to take off if you yourself will never spend a dime. Somebody give you an opportunity to represent your business. We got to come together. That's right, Tasha. You, you, you don't even want to do it. You're too shy. You're too afraid. And I'm not knocking you. But what I'm trying to let you know is this is why people don't want to buy from you because you don't take yourself serious. And I don't want to apologize for stepping on your toes today. And I don't want to apologize for keeping it real today. I hope this hurts you so much 
that it motivates you, come on. You aren't willing to spend a measly dime ever, but you want results. Come on. And I'm going live on Girl Power Ignite to, what is it, tomorrow? Or what? I, yeah, tomorrow. And I'm going to do the same thing. March is go time. I'm going to go live and I'm going to step on some people's toes because you want to get paid and you want to get serious about getting your paper and you want to get serious about getting that money, but you are not serious about yourself. Come on, Tasha. We're not serious about our businesses. We're doing this for a hobby. It's a hobby. Hey, Fayla, welcome in. We showing up when we want to. When we don't want to show, we don't show up. We have a lot of leisurely activities. We're doing more fun stuff than we are doing making money. Like, seriously, and I'm not saying you have to live a miserable life, but my TV in this house, I'm not a big TV person. We binge watch our shows later. Like, a lot of stuff can wait until later because during my work hours, I need to be working. So a lot of times we don't take ourselves seriously. If you're working from home, you need to set a schedule for yourself. Come on. Yes, Tasha, set a schedule. Okay, I know that working from home, hey, Audrey, and welcome in. Everybody at home in their pajamas, you know, team, no sleep, all that type stuff. Come on now. Let's get real. If you, I'm going to talk about this on Instagram Live tomorrow, but if you don't get any sleep, you're not going to be able to show up strong in your business, Paula, I'm, and I've been guilty too, but the good news is we can fix it and we can set our business in motion. Hey, Sean, <laughs> welcome, man. I know you're laughing. If I don't get any sleep, I'm going to be grouchy. I'm not going to show up strong, not for my business or my family. So it's just not realistic. Okay, if I sit home in my pajamas all day long and I'm not dressed this time in the morning to represent myself properly when I say I will to the world right now, I'm not going to get sales. Okay, so the realistic, the, the truth of the matter is if you don't start to take yourself seriously, get, come on, pull out your Google Calendar. This morning, I went live on YouTube talking about five business automation tools to save you some time and to set your business in motion. Take out your Google Calendar. Schedule your week. Schedule your week. Stop texting all day. Turn your phone over. Some of your friends, they're going to have to know, I'm running my business right now. I know that I don't have an office like you do or a cubicle like you do, but I have my desk here at home, and it's important to me, and I have to do my business. I'll talk to you at 4 p.m. <laughs> like... I'll talk to you on my lunch break. Like seriously, you got to get serious about yourself, about your schedule, about your money, about your business. You have to be willing to invest in yourself. You have to be willing to invest in your business and you have to be willing to invest in others. If you don't have a schedule, if you don't have a journal, if you're not writing down your ideas, you are not taking yourself seriously. Right, Sean? Come on. If you want to achieve and you want to get somewhere, your kids, your husband, your friends and family are not an excuse for you not getting there. The reason that you are not where you want to be is because of you, the person looking back at the mirror. If you are a business person and you are not organized, if I make an appointment with you and you don't show up on time or you don't show up at all, Hello, you are not a business owner. I don't know what kind of business owner you are. If you don't check your messages on a daily basis, and I'm talking all of your inboxes. Hello, come on, Sean. Check your inboxes. Check your email. Are you a business owner that doesn't check emails? Please take yourself seriously. If you are working from, for Jen and Jane's Corporation, and I just made that up, yes, if you are working for them and they wanted you to check your inbox every day in order to perform your job properly so you could get a paycheck, you would do it. This is your business. Stop letting your inbox grow old, hairy, and dusty before you check it. Money could be in there. Check your inboxes. Respond to people. Oh my God. I have people in this tribe that I wanted to buy something from. They never got back to me about the item I wanted to buy. And outside of this, this tribe, okay? So I'm not trying to step on anybody's specific toes, but my God, if I want to buy something from you, I'm not going to beg you to buy your product. Get back to the person. Let them know. You know, <laughs> we all slip sometimes, Sean. Every last one of us 
slip sometimes, okay? But we just got to brush it up. And if we need to hire help, it might be cheaper to get someone to help you than you think. Hire help, right? So that's the number one reason, okay, why people won't buy from you. It's because, hey, Janine, welcome and love. It's because you don't take yourself serious. If you don't take yourself serious and you're not showing up for your business, I mean, you on fire for your business. You're not letting nothing get in your way. You are setting your schedule. If it doesn't fit in your schedule, you can't do it today. If you're not a serious up gangster, okay, business owner, people are not going to take you serious because you're treating it like a hobby. Hey, Tasha, welcome, welcome in. Guess what? Everybody else is going to treat your business like a hobby too. Your friend's calling you for coffee and it's lunchtime and around lunchtime you work. The answer is no. Just because I'm working from home, it doesn't mean this is not a, a, uh, a, a real business. And I'm going to need you to respect my business time and I'm going to need you to respect my office hours. And you just want to have to start letting people know because my business is serious. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is going to be a little serious to y'all, but I'm going to put it out there. People look at you and they look at the way that you present your business and they say to themselves, I would never do business with her or him. Right? Come on, Sean. Treat it better than you treat your job. Come on. They look at you and they look at your presentation and they say to themselves, I would never do business with them, ever. Put some respect, that's right, Tasha. Put some respect on that business. Do you know why? Because your stuff is janky, it's stanky, it's ugly, and it's old. I'm just going to be real with you. It is ugly. I'm inside the tribe of days. I can speak how I want to speak. If some people don't like it, they can leave. But I'm going to tell you something. People don't want to do business with you because you're not even trying your best. Your stuff is jacked up. If you need help, y'all got to get somebody. Go to Fiverr.com. Pay five bucks for somebody to design. If you're not a graphic designer, that's fine. Have somebody to pay you. When you get on camera, I want your lighting to be on point. Do not have your back. Facing a your back face to the window. I'm tired of it. Don't do it anymore. Okay, please, <laughs> please. We can't see you. And uh, let me tell you something. Let's keep it real. People are all about the physical appearance. All about the physical appearance. Let's keep it real. If you out there dating and you see a man or woman walk in and they not looking good to you, and their shoes are dirty, and they got mud on their shoes, and their fingernails are dirty, ladies, and their teeth, uh, they don't look like they have good hygiene. Are you going to want those digits? Are you going to, I'm asking you a question, are you going to want those digits? I'm married now, so I really, I'm not fishing. But for those of you that are still fishing, possibly, are you going to want to communicate with somebody? Thank you, Karen. That's tore up from the floor up. Their background is nasty. You can't see them in the camera. Their kids are always 100% in the background. I got three kids. Do you ever hear my children on a broadcast? Do you know why? I got to get with somebody to get my kids because this is my business. And when somebody calls me for a conference and wants me to speak or somebody calls me to live stream on their platform, I do not want them to associate Dallas with her kids' noise in the background. You've got to invest in yourself, even if that means a babysitter, okay? Even if that means giving a family member a few bucks to keep your kids, okay? Even if that means waiting until they go to sleep. Maybe you got to broadcast way earlier. Maybe you got to broadcast way later. I don't know, but there is always a way if you look for one, okay? What I'm saying, guys, is that the presentation... You are promoting your events at the last minute. You're deciding last night that now you want to have a training and you expect people to show up to your training tomorrow. No, they're not going to show up. I'm just being honest. You got to give people time, especially when you're selling something. Like my free stuff, I might tell you on a set Sunday night, I'm going live tomorrow. You can come or not. It's free. It's up to you. It's going to be repurposed, put on YouTube. It's going to be, <laughs> I'm going to benefit from it regardless. That's just how it's going to work. But if it's paid, I'm going to give you guys a couple weeks to pay for it because I want to get money. That's that simple. If you want to make money, you have to prepare. You either plan or you plan to fail. 
And that quote, I do live by. You know why? Because I've taken note. The times that I've actually planned for my paid events, I have done so much better and I have converted so much better than the times that I just decide on Saturday night I want to sell something. And then by the end of the week, I don't have any sales and I'm looking like, what happened? Doesn't my audience want to buy from me? You haven't given people enough time. You haven't been before people enough time for them to want to buy from you. Okay? Yes, planning and preparation. Ask yourself, I want you to ask yourself, would you do business with you? And I want you guys to observe other business owners that you admire. What is it about that person that I admire? Is it their makeup, their lighting, their background? Do they have a microphone? They always sound good. What is it about their presentation that you adore? Why not put that in your presentation and do it in your own way? Stop just looking at stuff for no reason. Start observing stuff that you look at and see how you can improve. That's the only way that your business is going to grow. The only way that your business is going to grow. So, number two, just to close number two off, guys. They don't want to do business with you because your presentation is really, really janky. That's the word that I'm using, but it can be messed up. It can be whatever you want to put on it, whatever word you want to put on it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I know you've seen those live streams with people with 50 books in the background, piled up from the floor, it's, it's dust, it's, it's all kinds of stuff hanging around, it's loud, okay? And not just the live streaming, but everything. It's just, it's just a mess. The graphics are a mess. Everything's a mess. You look at them and say, I would never do business with them, ever do business with them. Because it is just not organized enough. Ask yourself, would you do business with you? If the answer is no, don't panic. March is go time. I'm only getting real with you because I want you to propel your business forward. If you want people to be serious about you, you have got to be serious about yourself. You have got to be serious about your own presentation. Got it, guys? All right, rock stars. Now, I wrote down a little quote that I found this morning. You probably heard it before. It says, you are what you do, not what you say you'll do. Good morning, Dr. Tammy. Welcome in. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do. Let that sit a minute. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do if you are saying a lot of stuff and not doing anything you are joking yourself who are you kidding you're kidding you <laughs> you're a joke your business is a joke if you keep talking hey daphne welcome in but you never do anything let me tell you something my inbox is always a perfect example okay i have certain people who inbox me and some of them have been inboxing me for like a year Oh, I'm going to get your coach. You know, I'm going to, yeah, one day I'm going to get, they just keep talking about it. But let me tell you something. When that new toy comes out for adults or that new thing comes out, they're the first person flicking pictures on their timeline. When they're ready to go on vacation, they're flicking pictures on their timeline. Guys, they have money. Don't ever take that from people. There are some people who sincerely are short on money. But let me tell you something. It is in human nature that when people want something, they will pay for it. So the same people who are telling you they can't buy your fragrances, they can't buy your soap, they can't buy your jewelry, they can't buy your course, they can't buy your classes, they are the same people that have just brought the person's course down the street. They really don't want your stuff. So I don't waste time with people that don't want my stuff. You should stop wasting time and banking on people who don't want your stuff. It's fine that you don't want my stuff. But I don't take, I don't have it for an answer. The more that you complain, the negative, the more negative that you are, the more that you declare out of your mouth that you don't have something, the more you will not have it. The more that you proclaim that you're broke as a joke and you never had any money, the more broke as a joke you will become. So when those people come into my inbox, I bless them with love and I send them on their way and pray that they have an enlightening and an awakening about their mindset. 
because the more that you can't afford me and the more that you say you can't afford me, honey, you will never be able to afford me because you just said it yourself. You're prophesying to your money. You're prophesying to your business when you say you don't have it. When you say you're broke, don't come to me about your broke because it bothers me because I realize that when you speak out of your mouth that you're broke, okay, I don't have it. My business will get better when I have more money. Stop. Do yourself a favor and stop. You are never going to prosper until you put the prosperity into your mouth and you start speaking life. Your words, when you speak them, guys, they go somewhere. And they take action, whether you want them to or not. So you heard that saying, fake it till you make it, even if your mind doesn't yet believe it. I need you to speak it and I need you to fake it until your mind is convinced that this is what reality really looks like. Because if you don't start to change your speech, if you don't start to change your speech, that's right, Tasha, that's right, Ronnie, you will never change your situation in the physical. I can promise you that, right, Tasha? I can promise you that. So you got to get serious about yourself. And that takes me to my next point. Show up and do what it takes. I posted on my wall today, when people ask me what I do, I say what it takes. That's what I do because I'm ready to win today because it's March and it's go time. And this month, I'm taking this month to propel whatever projects that I have been putting off and not pushing forward into motion. Those are the projects during the month of March that I'm going to make happen. Month, March is go time. So I know I might be stepping on some toes this morning, but you need it because it's go time. That's right, Ronnie. You got to put it in motion. My book. It's getting done. This editing is getting done this month because I can't keep sitting on it. It's go time. It's go time. Show up and do what it takes. What do I mean by that? Stop making excuses for yourself. You are looking at a proclaimed introvert. You are looking at a proclaimed shy person. However, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for those labels. I've got to show up for my business. I've got to show up for myself. I don't got time to be shy when it comes time to hit the live button. Because guess what? I am trying to sell a product online to an audience, to a virtual audience. I don't have a physical location for you to come visit me to. So if I don't be face to face with you, you ain't gonna buy from me. So I have to do what it takes to broadcast myself to the world, whether it be through live video, whether I'm posting, wherever I need to post. You need to let, you need to get Set on fire with your passion to the point that you're not ashamed that you're a business owner. Stop being afraid of stepping on people's toes on, on, your, on, on online. You are a business owner. This is who you are. This is a part of you. This is your passion. Stop being afraid to show up for your business. I don't want to hear from anybody else in this tribe. I'm too shy. I'm too nervous to do anything. All of us get nervous. All of us get shy. If you're ready to go this month, I need for you to do what it takes. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. Stop it. If you have an I issue with images of yourself, you have an issue with taking pictures of yourself, you have an issue with, you know, doing different things with yourself, you got to deal with that, guys. You got to deal with that because it's trickling over into your business activities. Yeah. And that was me, Mo. That was me. And sometimes it still is me. Yes, Tasha, Motivational Monday. Okay? It is time. It's go time. It is time to put all of that stuff behind you and be all that you can be for yourself, your family, your business. Make it happen. It's go time. It's not time to be shy to turn on the camera. It's not time to be shy. Don't come in here telling me what you're too shy to do. You know, you're given opportunities and you're stepping all over them. I've asked some people to go live on my Girl Power Ignite page. Awesome, huge opportunity. And they will give me excuses. And do you know why they give me excuses? Because they're too shy. And I could sniff it right from the beginning. I don't want to hear what else you have to do. I don't care about your being busy. Your business is not a hobby. Hey, Mandy, it is serious because it's yours. Let the fear go and go for it. If you need some live tips about broadcasting, we got some rock stars up in here that can teach you how to broadcast. 
Janine Cummins, have you seen her in here? She's like the queen of that. We got some different people in here who are serious. We got a Brandon queen up in here. We got Jamila. Lots of people are right into this tribe, okay, that can teach you some stuff. That can teach you some stuff. That can help you in business. But I'm going to tell you now that if you're halfway showing up and your stuff looks a mess, Shame on you and shame on your business because nobody is going to want to buy from you. And it bothers me so bad when I see people doing things and they've been instructed to do it a certain way, but you still show up halfway. You still show up halfway. Please, please stop. Please represent yourself the best way possible. Stop telling yourself that they're, well, if they really want, you know, my product, they're going to buy from me no matter how I look or how my background looks or how my lighting looks or what it sounds like in my background. Or, you know, I don't have to show up all the time. If they want it, they'll buy it. People aren't that desperate to buy your product. I'm going to tell you now. They can get what you got somewhere else. I'm just letting you know. Like, I'm a coach. And I'm a darn good coach, but part of what makes me a darn good coach is my work ethic, consistency, showing up, integrity, being who I say I'm going to be, doing what I say I'm going to do, without all those things and just putting my face onto a camera, it might be cute and all, but that's not enough. There are 1,500 other e-commerce coaches and business coaches and success motivators on the face of this earth on Facebook alone that you can go to and some of you do go to them and that's great but I understand that you don't have to listen to me you don't you're not pressed to take out your wallet and make me take your money you're not pressed and no one else is I can promise you that whatever product that you have on the market right now it can be brought elsewhere remember that so if you don't represent yourself the way that you wish to be seen to the world if you wouldn't buy from you you got some brushing up to do for March Madness. It is go time. It is time to change. It's time to do some brushing up. Stop talking to yourself about limiting beliefs because when you do, you are constantly limiting yourself. When you keep telling yourself that it's okay that I halfway show up. They'll buy from me if they want it. What's meant to be would be. And God, what is it? What is it you need? I can't bear it. I can't darn bear it when people bring scripture. People of God, stop using the scriptures as an excuse. If God willing, they'll buy from me. Honey, when your stuff, when your background and everything you do is a mess, stop it. That ain't got nothing to do with God. That's everything to do with your negligence to do what you're supposed to do. Please stop bringing him into it because it ain't got nothing to do with it. If you haven't prepared, don't, don't ask God to magically bless some, some mess that you have not taken the time to prepare for. And somebody said that to me recently where they were working with me on a project and they got fired off that project because it was, well, God's going to do it. No, he's not going to do it if you ain't. Okay, if you're not doing it, he's not going to do it. He's not, I, I, I mean, he's already done all that he's going to do anyway. He's the author, the finisher. He's the creator of all things. It's already been done. Don't you use him for your excuses. I'm tired of that too. Business owners halfway showing up and because they're also Christian, they're using God as an excuse for why things are halfway done. You laying home eating donuts, but you expecting God to do all the heavy lifting. When he told you, he gave you the power in your hands to get wealth and you ain't doing nothing. Stop doing that because it makes him look bad to those people who want to believe, but they're tired of lazy Christians talking about him, preaching about him, and blaming him for everything. So, <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to put that out there. I love you guys. You have the power to get wealth. It is March. It is go time. But if you are not in the driver's seat, you are not moving the ignition, you are not putting your foot on the, on the pedal, and you are not turning the key, revving up the ignition, starting to drive. If you don't have a roadmap, if you don't have a coach helping you to guide you the way, if you're afraid to invest in yourself, just know if you aren't doing all of those things, Tasha, come on now. Just know. Love you, Karen. You ain't going nowhere. And it's only because of you. If you choose to sit on the sidelines and watch us succeed in this group and go right to the top, you go right ahead, have your popcorn and your tea, or you're going to get on the course and you're going to start running. What you going to do? 
Hello, Nakia. You couldn't have said it better. If a man doesn't work, he doesn't eat. We don't have a lazy God who teaches us to be lazy for those of us who are believers. That's not the type of God that we serve. It's just not. So stop that mess. Stop expecting a magician to show up with a wand and cha-ching all over your business and it's just going to be golden when you ain't doing nothing. You're doing everything the same way that you did it day one, but you want day 100 growth. It doesn't work like that. You got to change. That's right, Wanda. You got to push. You got to strive. You got to get outside of your comfort zone. If you're comfortable and your dreams don't scare you, you're not pushing hard enough. I need you to push harder. I need you to run harder. That's right, Karen. That's what I need you to do. Okay? It's go time. It's go time. So if you're coming in on the replay, guys, you're getting this on the end, I want you to go back to the beginning, drop me a comment below, ask me any questions, let me know that you were here. I have one hour coaching sessions at bit.ly forward slash power dash hour. If you want to talk with me for an hour, develop a marketing strategy to get traffic and sales to your business, or you want a marketing strategy for your online store, stop coming to me for free in my inbox for marketing strategies. Not going to happen. My magic and my passion is monetized. And I give away loads of free information. As you guys know, go to that link, pay me, and we'll get on the phone and we'll actually do this thing. Do you hear what I'm saying? And I'm going to be honest. That's how you need to be in your business. And that's what I'll be talking about tomorrow on Girl Power at Night. Stop giving away all of your nuggets for completely free. Now, I have some friends who are my partners and my, and my really close business friends that we do exchange free information all the time. It's an exchange. I'm not saying every little person has to pay you for everything. But what I am saying is, is that if you don't start to monetize some of those inbox conversations and things that you're having, you won't get money. I, I'm, I'm going to be simple about it. You're not going to get money. And love does make the world go round, but so does money. And if you don't have it, you won't be traveling nowhere around the world. I'm going to tell you that now. You won't be on nobody's stage. You can't afford to fly there. You can't afford to drive there. Gas in your car. You can barely put food on your table. And you want to tell me that money doesn't matter? It matters. It matters. So start to take yourself seriously so that you can get paid for your time. Right? Mama three. I'm going to say it again. Wife. Home. Friends. I'm a daughter. I'm a lover. I'm a friend. I'm a wife. I'm all of these things. I'm a business owner. I'm a, I'm a leader. All these things. I have to get paid for the time that I'm making available. I am not working 24 to 48 hours free. I'm sorry. So should you offer your audience free value? Heck yes. I have a whole YouTube channel, over 200 videos. If you scroll this group, you will find freebies. You can get on my list and you can get basics on pretty much any topic concerning traffic, marketing, conversions, and sales completely free. But when it's time for you to want to step it up, it's time to pay. And all of you should treat your businesses and your time with that kind of respect because if you don't start, you're going to be broke. You're going to be broke as a joke. And honestly, it's not even going to be funny. I just said that because it rhymes. So love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Once again, that link is bit.ly forward slash power dash hour. It's pinned in the comments. If you're coming in live with me, please leave me a comment below. I love you guys. Be blessed. Be prosperous. Don't let anybody get in your way of success, especially not yourself. So have a wonderful blessed day, guys. Let's set these businesses in motion. You're welcome, Mo. It is go time. It's go time. See you guys around. Bye.